Hi everyone, how are we all doing on this day? So I wanted to talk about something which is what you guys have all been wanting which is my transition and what has it been up to lately. So I recently made two years on hormones. Two years and a half now actually I would say, yeah. Or was it one year? I. I think it was one year actually. Well, that beats the purpose of this video. Anyways, bye guys! No, but I'll tell you guys the one year update anyways. I'm not sure if I already made a one year update though. Whatever, I'll just tell you guys over the past few months then. So the past few months has been crazy for hormones, so let me tell you how I do it. So every morning for school at like 7.30 sharp, I post a reminder on my phone to take the pussy pill. And I take one spiral lactin, which is what testosterone blockers basically. So I take that at 7.30 and later at night, I take that again along with estrogen. So I'm basically blocking my testosterone 24 hours, opposed to like 12 hours. Because one pill stays in your body for 20, 12 hours and it leaves your system right away. So that's why I take one at 7.30 and then 12 hours later, I take another one again. So I'm constantly blocking my testosterone, letting the estrogen swim through it. But with that, I... So basically, my meds would get kind of fucked up and I would... Sometimes pick it up and then sometimes be late to pick it up and then before you know I would be like off hormones for a few days because I'm waiting for the pharmacy to like Bring in the order and stuff so all because like my timing was wrong basically and so that happened and there are many times See I keep my hormones in here in this little necklace I keep this by and the estrogen in here So no matter where I go I constantly have it in my necklace So that's what I like about this necklace it's really handy I post like me carrying like two capsule bottles around Two bottles of the capsules around I already have it in my necklace Every morning before I leave I put my pills in here and I just put on my neck and at 7.30 no matter where I am I already have it in my neck Well there be many occasions where you know One would fall out and then it would break Or like two of them would both fall out because I don't know, I tend to jump a lot. And so with that happening, I would have to take one from the bottle and by the end of the month, I'll be left with like one missing because of the broken one to replace it. So do you guys get what I'm saying here? It's like, it's complicated. So there are many times where that happened and there are many, many times where I would be out in public and I didn't have water and I can't swallow my pills if I don't have water. I'm just not that talented yet. But there are many times where I'm out and I don't have any. I usually come home late. And so I'll get home like around 10 or 11 and I'll think to myself, should I take it now? Because if I take it out, then I'll like mess up the order and then later the timing will be wrong. The timing will be wrong. And then I, it posts like waiting 12, like waking up at 7 to take another pill. I have to wait like 4 more hours because I took it at 10. And then I'll just fuck up my whole schedule. So I was like, you know what? And I just won't take it tonight. Take it tomorrow. And so I would miss one day and later the next day I will go out again and then later before you know the same thing happens I'm just like, you know, I'll just take it tomorrow, I already missed one day, it can't be that bad And then that just keeps happening and then there will be times where I'm in bed Laying in bed and then I just, the reminder goes on, take pussy pill and I'm just like comfortable and like watching a movie or something I'm just like, do I really want to get up and, you know, go up some water downstairs Even though I have a mini fridge right here in my room, I'm just lazy to get up So there are many times where that happened and that would just lead me to just Stop taking my hormones due to laziness yeah. Now when I first started my transition, I was like, oh yeah, I'm like, dedicated to this, like fuck yeah. But I mean after a year, I got bored. <laughs> and so I remember the month of November and December, those of 2016 last year, was the month where my hormone schedule was fucked up. I think I made one month worth of hormone supply last me two months. <laughs> That's how many days I've skipped out. <laughs> so throughout November, I would take it some days and take it like not some days and I would just keep doing that and then there are other times where I would call my pharmacy and then they would say that the order is out of refills so I need to call my doctor and then that takes a few days because like I have to email them opposed to calling them because like it's a lot of work and what I explain to do <laughs> no more stressful please and so I remember because of November I just stopped taking hormones back and forth up and down it was like fucked up like horrible December was worse the last two weeks of December, I wasn't even on hormones. Now this did nothing to my personality. I felt the same, honestly, but it fucked my face, hardcore. You know, it's so funny because I would look back at my photos and be like, you know, I don't see a difference of what hormones are doing to my face at all. And then I come to realize that it's because I faced them the fuck out of my photos that I don't even look the same in person. And so from there, I, it was just like, I never noticed a difference in my face because I never really saw my actual face in photos. It was just the face that I always wanted it to look like. And so I was like creating my face to look like that, you know? 
And so I never saw a difference in my face. But people did. You know why? Because how I appear on pictures on Instagram is not how I look like in videos. See, videos is my true face opposed to Instagram. And so around the month of when I like stopped taking hormones for a while, and then that kind of like jacked up my face already. And then when I got to December, I was like, the last two weeks kills me because I wasn't even on hormones at all, let alone throughout the weeks of before. So this is like the month of December, right? The first two weeks I would take it on and off of December. The last week of December, I was gone. <laughs> and so when I made that video of the um, first get ready with me of 2017, all the comments were like, oh my god, you look horrible, like, you look disgusting, you look like fucking John. I mean, which I don't get because when I was John, I was still gorgeous, you know? But they were just like, oh my god, you look so bad, like you don't even look the same, you look so awful. Like, everyone noticed like how bad it was and that was when I realized, oh my god, they can actually see that I don't look the same anymore like as I used to. And so starting 2017, I got back on hormones and my doctor gave me a higher dosage. So process went by quicker and then before I know it, every video that I posted on since this year, you guys are all like, oh my god, you look better and better every year. How do you, what? And so with that being said, I never noticed a difference in my face, but being off hormones did jack up my face. And with that, I didn't notice the difference because I never really saw my face. I see my face every day. I can't tell the difference, but you guys see me and you guys see my face once in a while and you guys saw the difference and that made me realize you gotta get back on them pills. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and for listening to this one year and a half update of my hormones and transition. I hope you guys do enjoy it and find something out of it and realize that hormones actually are important and it's just not a little fun and games. That's what I thought it became because I got bored of it. But it actually does a lot. And if you just keep doing what I'm doing, that could really fuck up your system inside if it's just your face. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on my social media. They'll be all linked down below. And until my next video, bye guys. Thank you.